Kwame Tsushima on my ghost before the sucker punch. Kyle Kaboli, Sony trying to stay a pack lunch game. Delisted countries to hundo. Sony cooking up our sensor. Greedy gumbo. Xbox transition to a square shape cloud. Respect identity. No jokes allowed. JK Rowling got us howling. 400k in one day. People prowling. Racism on full display. Pronouns blame the patriarchy. Bad quality worse than AI. She look like a man, so I won't buy. Marvel rival said no negativity. Just consume. No objectivity, DEI detected hacked. Kotaku harass and get smacked. They hate pretty women and I don't know why. But one similarity I can't deny. Tourist in the Kool Aid don't know the flavor. Maybe invest in a mustache shaver. He, him, them, they sometimes. Why? GDC developers cry. Square Enix said multi platform popcorn ready for a gaming shitstorm. For a gaming shitstorm. For a gaming shitstorm. My name is Sarah Bond. My pronouns are she, her. Our brand, you know, everything that we do is there through this moment of transition. And I am the head of ecosystem for Xbox. Transition, transition, transition. We have the opportunity to tell a new Indiana Jones story for a modern gaming audience. For a modern gaming audience. Mask my insecurity! Joker, he's masking insecurities. Masking Mask insecurities, insecurities with traditional Joker behavior. Force X outfits. Yeah, right. Nice outfit, Hal. Hey, I'm being sarcastic. Hello, beta testers. Like, subscribe, comment, and fear not. I'm here to remind that the reason shills are claiming Western gaming's collapse is upon us is because the sensitive slop being churned out en masse is exactly what the pearl-clutching, ideology-pushing cult member activists would agree with. Much like a Seymour Skinner at odds with how out of touch they are, you'll find games journalists struggling with figuring out what genre a, a, a movie, song, or video game that they're talking about is in. But it's not like we're on the internet, so I can see how fact-checking may be difficult. Warhammer's history is currently being rewritten by Woke, so Henry Cavill must be struggling just to faithfully represent something as usual because he's fighting the same bureaucracy that's keeping Maharshala Ali from simply appearing as a blade in a movie called Blade. But as I've said in the past, Woke is the one derpy wheel on the shopping cart and we can just push it along or we can choose to get another cart. When activist casting directors take it upon themselves to hire what they consider ugly to quote challenge beauty standards, but in earnings calls, Bob Iger is referring to milking the properties that you might appreciate as IP mining, you can't help but feel like everywhere you look, the mask is just slipping. A racist gaming industry, but according to them, you can't be racist to white people, so they proudly proclaim from the mountaintop. Straight males are the real problem, they say, and they say things like male presenting, cisgender heteronormative, chest feeding. There's no difference between a man and a woman because it's a social construct driven by the supremacist patriarchy. But if we just keep putting manly women in video games and media, then people won't know the difference. Eat my bullshit, you bigot. It's a cult. You guys are in a cult. And outside of your echo chamber and what we've come to refer to as reality, I got news for you. The same cringe that you have for heterosexuality or depictions of anything that's not like you so I can't identify with this, how am I supposed to engage, it doesn't match my skin color, is the same disgust that we feel when uttering phrases like, quote, transitioning children, end quote, Munchausen's by proxy, my pets are vegan ass energy, and no amount of forcing your new normal will impact biology. I am a gamer. Naturally, I'm not alien to moral panic and fake outrage, you, in this instance, have fucked with the wrong ones, trying to force all this ugly woman into gaming and then gaslighting niggas into buying it, you, you need them to buy it too? Man, you guys are smart! The racist and ugly entities vocally needing to tell you that they hate you as they endeavor to ruin your outlets because God forbid you be able to relieve stress when niggas standing in the middle of the street talking about, uh, you, you 
you don't, you're ignoring things going on. You privileged pieces of shit. May reality find you. For they've mistaken your kindness for weakness. Like and subscribe if you don't want me to sell out, beta tester. We are forced now to kind of watch this fire and slap that shovel a slop right back down to the ground when they try to charge us for it. I'm HRT positive, exercising our right to choose in saying no will make it so that we're called a bunch of names, but regardless of what they pull out of their purse, this is America. The whole internet, regardless of where you're watching. And what that means is, the only people who should be calling shots are people with money. They can step over the rules, not these losers that are also ugly. Come on, man, that's crazy. Are they also running like a freak show where they're collecting money on like a personal TikTok for how ugly they are? Well, I mean, we're ugly, but we're not like that ugly where we can sell ourselves. It's just like, and where we are now, unfortunately, we get to just observe. Observe how AI is being trained to outperform these lazy wankers. Because as I've said, a big issue that I'm having here is that when they do this job this poorly, they are closing and welding shut a door that another human could do better than them, but won't receive the opportunity to because the AI will instantly be able to do better than these turds. And the assessment will be made like, why pay anybody if we can just have it do this? EA wants to put advertisements in their games again like we haven't already seen that sloppily implemented in ways that literally and were documented slowing down loading times so that they could show people more commercials. Wow. So right after Sony's censorship of debut console title Stellar Blade from Korean developer Shift Up, which provoked PSN cancellations and over 80,000 signing a petition, Sony censored again then reminded people of their greed with a Hell Divers fiasco. Developers knew. They didn't tell you, though. Now, Ghost of Tsushima is delisted in a bunch of countries. You better sign up for my PlayStation account, baby. Square Enix said they're done with Sony exclusivity following profit loss, and now that Xbox is DEIing itself the most diverse colors imaginable, Sony will only get greedier. But... Even with the pathetic modern audience slop coming down the sensitivity pipeline for Xbox, Sony will need better than a walking simulator movie game or a live service for show creators and journalists to deep throat because, you know, it's what translates to sales, <laughs> except it doesn't. I certainly hope all that gluck lucking and slurp slurping are getting these shills paid with all those dick sucking faces they're making on their thumbnails. Did you see Marvel Rivals say the quiet part out loud? Just like Brian Intihar, just exposing, you know, it's all about access. It's all about saying the right thing and then you could be part of our club because Marvel Rivals said, no one shall speak negatively about my game. For a key for early access, incredible. Thank God some of those influencers actually have a soul and a backbone so they can put their foot down. Getting clickbaited and lied to by shill schlong suckers is not new, but it'd be nice to read an article that didn't need to resort to, sorry white man, this show was never for you, just to get views, and then delete your account because you didn't expect as much backlash as you got. But let's remind ourselves that to them it's all about activism and making men uncomfortable. I'm so, a storyteller you know. and an activist. Guided by my activism and every single piece of work that I've ever created has a piece of activism in it. I like to make men uncomfortable. I enjoy <laughs> making men uncomfortable. To bring something that makes you uncomfortable and it should make you uncomfortable because you need to change your attitude. Did you hear how a VTuber got banned from a convention called Off Kai because they made someone feel uncomfortable and it definitely didn't have anything to do with exposing the DEI indoctrination and shit like bridge you know what I mean it was no, no, nothing to do with that all the grooming we see all over the place in those communities and it's totally fine but ooh you better not ooh you better not be talking about you saw better help is back too back from the grave out, out here scamming them slow suckers they were they were Shane Dawson viewers back in the day man it's almost it's all, it feels so much like there's nothing I can do to stop these slow, you know, all the trucker speed in the world couldn't help me warn anybody any harder, especially with all the code that I have to speak in all the damn time. I'm just so just disregard, you know what I mean? Can I get a hat? 
I'll just wear a red hat. That'll, that'll really make you guys just... Oh! 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 oh, oh, oh can you believe... Anyway. Video game discussion alone has enough to really piss off the ankle biters that aren't choosing to watch my content or follow me around on the internet. So, you know, more power to them. Patrons, sponsors, beta testers, anybody liking, anybody freshly subscribing, anyone sharing. I love you. I appreciate you. I'm thanking you for resisting the gaslighting. You know, they want you to not ask questions to consume the product. What, you guys don't have phones? What, you guys don't have internet access? Sorry, I don't get the drama around having an always online console. I mean, every device is always online these days. That's the world we live in, God, God, you know what I mean? So what, you can't share your games? That's not a big deal. So what, you can't access your game anymore after we take it offline? That's not a big deal. So what, we censored it and sabotaged the studio that you like? Listen, all these people were just like, oh man, now that they shut the studio down, they were they were just now working on their offline patch. You mean that thing that should have been in the game before it came out? Whose fault is that? <laughs> the quality of products they've been adapting Using IPs there, mining, should not require a scuba dive into the sewers to assess. Some of you are finally understanding why they hate me so much. You're finally reaching a point where you're arguing for pro-consumer practices. And that puts a target on your head to the people who have access and would like to retain it. Preferably with the least amount of effort possible. Don't end up a target of these upset people who through their own inaction will now be suffering. It ain't your fault. Cup sizes in the comments. Buckle up. Thanks for keeping this little old channel going. Discord, Patreon, wish list links in the description. Special thanks to Anil and Matt, and I'll be back to stream more soon.